my name is Marcy and in this video I am going to show you how to make your own pattern paper using just coffee. If you ever painted before you know that probably you have a cup of coffee or tea right next to your paint water and then you end up dipping that brush into your coffee or tea and drinking the paint water. Or maybe that's just me, I don't know. You just let me know in the comments, but um, it happens. But today, we are going to be using that coffee or maybe just instant coffee to make these really awesome pages with just simple stuff you have laying around your house. So let's get started. So here I just mix some instant coffee I had laying around. It's decaf, by the way. So it's kind of like a, the joke of coffees. <laughs> so I just went more over to the dark side with it and just put it all over my page. Um, this is just really easy. You don't even have to tape any of these papers. They're gonna dry. Just make sure you have enough space around. Bring over your salt. This is just regular table salt and sprinkle it all over the page. This way you get a really cool texture when it dries, you'll see. Just let the salt do its magic. Then we're gonna let it dry and pour some of that coffee into a little plate. Um, this is gonna be for making some coffee cup marks on top of another piece of paper. So just decide how you wanna do you know, your um, marks big, small. I just went with a normal cup of coffee and went to town with it. I end up adding some splatters to this page because I really like that messy effect. But if you don't like that, you can just leave it the way it is. See, I'm here, I'm trying to do some splatters, but then I bring over my really dirty, stained, old toothbrush from my art supplies and I just went to town with the splatters and then you just let it dry this is a really cool one at least I, I like that it's white and it's not so coffee saturated and now over here we're gonna be playing with more food so this is gonna be a little crazy but trust me, um, this will be really cool for like a science project if you have to make like, um, I don't know, bacteria because it kind of looks like messy and what you are going to look through a microscope for. So just get your noodles. Yes. Like noodle soup, but this is going to be paper copy soupy <laughs> look. Trust me, these are really cool when they dry. At least my kids really like them. Um, they make bacteria with it. That's why I said the science stuff. Anyhow. If you add some more coffee to it, those areas will be a little bit darker. And then I think the little pasta will like absorb most of it so it looks cooler but I wanted different textures anyways then we're gonna bring over some rice we're gonna be playing with rice so the same thing we did with the noodles we're just gonna do with the rice and it's gonna absorb the coffee again and it's gonna make some cool marks so these are the easiest ones when you play with food because um, when we put this aside to dry, we're going to be blowing on our coffee. And notice how I don't ever clean my area, or sometimes I do because it gets sticky. But um, the page, it doesn't matter on the other side. It, well, at least it didn't matter for me. So this makes the page stay in place better. I don't know if um, that makes sense, but... You know, the coffee just, it's wet, so it won't let it move. This part was really fun. It was just blowing on my little puddles of coffee. And um, you can see how cool it looks when I blow on that 
blotches and all. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I really like that. Anyhow, have fun with this. You can add um, maybe watercolors if you like, but I really like how the, just the brown coffee looks on here. Maybe you have, um, I don't know, some type of red tea and maybe you can try this for Halloween, like bloody paper. I don't know. Just an idea. Then I added some regular bath soap to this. Um, it's just to make it a little soapy. Notice how I put it in another um, container because we want a bunch of bubbles and a lot of um, dark coffee mixed with our soap. So this is one way to do it, just blow it and you just put your piece like on top of it, like do a pass through. But I'd rather just put it down and start putting the little teeny tiny bubbles on it. I don't want the big bubbles, I want the little ones. So this way you get the really tiny details when it dries. And big tip here, I had to add more bubbles after I filmed because I left my window open and the wind blew in and it popped the bubbles. If the bubbles get popped like with um, her dryer or wind or if you blow on them, they won't leave a mark. So you have to just let it sit there and they will pop on their own so that the paper will absorb that coffee. Anyhow, moving on, this is string as you saw and just I'm playing with like a checkers kind of design but you can do whatever you want you can do squirrels you can do like maybe you want to do a mark to make a snail in this way you just have to you know go in circles around and make a little snail shell type of effect I don't know just play with your string but this I wanted it checkered and it looks really cool um, maybe next time I will try to saturate the string first and then put it on top of my mixed media paper. Maybe it will be a little bit easier, but um, I don't know. Let me know if you tried this before with the string, what method worked better for you. There we go, and this is going to be set aside. and. I didn't want to edit this out because I had a spare and then I dried it up with the paper towel and I tried to put like texture on my paper but it didn't really show through so what I did was just squish it on top and make it like that. I brought my plastic film or plastic wrap into the room and just went to town with it. Some parts were really light for me so I just braced up the plastic a little, put coffee underneath and just kept moving it around. Playing with your paper and with your plastic and your coffee will make a huge difference because that way you have control of the darker areas and the lighter areas. Just a thought. And now put this aside and we're gonna do some more splatters. So just get an old toothbrush. Look how cool that is. This is like slow motion kind of. I really like this. Maybe it's just me, but playing around with the coffee is just really cool. It brought me back to my high school art years. <laughs> so anyhow, the um, I wanted bigger splatters too, so I just saturated the toothbrush at the end like I got it really wet and just went to town so yeah this is what the splatters look like slow motion dun, 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 dun. anyhow just playing around and if you really like playing with the brush maybe you can brush some coffee on top of another piece of paper so this is what I ended up doing here I started like this and I didn't like it that much I wanted more of like a texture so I decided I wasn't gonna play with wet coffee anymore I was gonna bring my dry coffee so I got my little instant coffee container and try to just splatter some on top 
but I wanted more, so I got more. And then I wanted some marks in my paper, but I couldn't get those with water. So what I did was got some rubbing alcohol and I dropped, see, like I'm dropping here some alcohol because I want those marks in there not look like coffee, but this is just me playing around. I knew that alcohol did that and I just wanted to let you know that little tip in case you want some other marks in your paper. And everybody has alcohol at home, right? If it's not rubbing alcohol, it's probably tequila or something. I don't know. Um, then I just brush them around and left it like that. I am scanning all these papers at the end. Surprise, surprise. I am going to put a link right in the description so that you can print them out for free in case you don't want to get messy with the coffee. Okay, having said that, over here I'm just trying to clean my coffee into another piece of paper. That looks cool. That one doesn't get scanned though. <laughs> that one is for me to just put lines on top and write some notes, but um, every other method we use gets um, scanned and you're gonna be using it for free. Like you can print it out and you can do plenty of things with paper that you print out. You can wrap like small presents with it. You can do a journal, you can make an envelope, you can make a little booklet to put inside an envelope for your pen pals. You can do anything with it, really. Um, in fact, I think my next video is gonna be about some pen pal um, stuff using this paper, so maybe you can look forward to that. Um, here, doesn't that look cool? That noodle one, it's really amazing. Yep, I can see myself cutting this up and using it in my journals. Now here's the rice one, look at that. That looks like bacteria, honestly. That's like really cool. Like little mini explosions, maybe, I don't know. The Milky Way kind of out there, I don't know. But it's just cool. This string one, it's pretty nice too. It's not my favorite though, but it's, it's really cool too. You can write like little quotes inside each of the squares or alternate in case you want to use it for your journal. Maybe make a calendar with it. And this is the salt. You're gonna see that close up, it's amazing. If you end up using these papers, the only thing I'm asking for is that you give me credit for them, but um, you can use them for free. I'm not gonna charge anything for this, this is so fun. And this part right here, you can see how that kind of shines. That is the darker coffee, like the little puddles it made. And I like that. I like how different it looks from like normal inks or distress inks or baked paper with coffee. Look at that. Look at that alcohol mark right there. Hmm? Isn't that cool? If you, if you end up doing this, will you like tag me in Instagram in case you do have Instagram? You can just tag me at mix it up marcy or send me an email in case you don't have instagram at mix it up marcy at gmail.com this is this is pretty cool so try it give it a try and if anything i have more coffee videos i'm gonna link them down below but for now this is it and i wish you a really nice day bye guys thanks for watching